I'm Indy Lush, and I'm here inside the Hub Culture Studio in Davos 2019. Delighted to be joined by Sarah Backhouse, a friend of Hub Culture. Quite often, we've actually had you in this position. That's true. I'm a reformed TV host, but I'm now, I have a grown-up job as a management <laughs> consultant. What? Grown-up job? <laughs> I know, no, nothing against the profession. All right, managing director at World 50. Very grown-up job. Now, first of all, tell us what the trends are you're seeing amongst communication at the moment, communication officers at the moment. Yeah, I think the biggest trend is that our communications executives are operating in an increasingly complex world. The speed in which information is coming is only increasing. The stakeholder, um, the discrepancies in the different messaging that are targeted to those different stakeholders is more complex as well. Mm -hmm. So no longer is it just the three media channels, the broadsheets, digital media has mm -hmm. changed the game. And so what that requires is rather than one cohesive message, lots of different targeted messages to different mm -hmm. stakeholders. So it's about being really specific, thinking about the market, thinking about the audience um, and adapting. And is there anything you've heard specifically here in Davos that's really kind of rung true with you? It's interesting. I think the thing that has the predominant theme that we're hearing in our communities, both Sustainability 50 and Communications mm -hmm. 50, but broadly here is purpose. That is going to be mm -hmm. the word for 2019. So it's beyond sustainability. It's it now is. purpose. It is. And it almost brings the two functions mm -hmm. together. So uh, it's having, and it's, it's, you're seeing it in new titles, chief purpose officers. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies are doing purpose work. So companies mm -hmm. like VF or Lululemon who are early to that field. Mm -hmm. Paul Polman even mentioned it yesterday. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting. It's having a really strong sense of values and having the um, purpose of the company be greater than just shareholder returns, mm. but thinking about the good longevity in every stakeholder in the company. So um, that's been really interesting to see unfold. I think it's still quite nascent, so it's mm. a bit buzzy right now. But as we continue on, it'll be interesting to see how companies bring this to life. I think it also ties into a real focus around employee engagement. Employees have this huge voice right now, and that's mm. going to be seen more and more with purpose. That's interesting because one of the other aspects uh, of this week that's really been bouncing around in this studio uh, especially has been what came out of the Edelman Trust Barometer. One, that traditional sources of media are actually now uh, on the up in terms of trust, but also employers. So how do, you, how do you think that relates to what you were just saying about purpose? Yeah, it was super interesting. So I think it was 75% of people trust their employer the most mm. out of any other institution, more than business, more than government, uh, more than media. So what does that mean? I mean, it means that employers have this huge responsibility and opportunity. And so I think you're going to see more CEO leadership. Uh, that's been something that was the theme for last year, certainly, is where do companies weigh in and take a stand? I think a really interesting case study of that right now is the Gillette ad that's mm. causing a lot of buzz. Um, so if you look at P&G's values, that uh, commercial is very much in line with that, right? So un believing in equality, and that's what is the central th theme through that piece. So if you have a strong sense of where your company values lie, then the messaging becomes pretty natural and uh, um, you can move forward with that. Sarah, I really appreciate you stopping by the Hub Culture uh, studio, and you can come and join me here anytime you want. Thank you very much, Indy. Thanks <laughs> for having me. And I'm Edie Lush.